Hello everyone, welcome to the study of GIS and remote sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic. How we can be used types of geospatial data type such as shapefile, geodeson and geopackage and which format is better for which project. I will try to explain all of details. Then I hope you can easily choose your own format apply for your own project work. So basically, uh, shapefile, geojson, geopackage for geospatial data depends on several factors, including the use case, software environment, data complexity, and required feature. So today's session, I will try to explain all of those process and what the uses of shapefile, geojson, and geopackage, and we also try to decide which format you have to use for your own project. So let's go. I will try to explain all of those things one by one. So first of all, shapefile. Extension .shp and shapefile is best for compatibility with legacy system and simple data set. And there's a lot of pros we find out when you want to use the shapefile. Almost every GIS software can read, write and shapefile, making them highly compatible. We can easily use it for different types of history software or RTS software or QG software, NV software or LDAP software. So this type of software or GIS software can easily read, write, shapefile and making them highly compatible. And efficient for simple and small data set, great for simple vector data like uh, point, line, polygon. We can easily do it using the shapefile and widely used in traditional GIS application, particularly for those using older S3 software or RGS software or QGIS software, any software, it's easily used. But it has multiple file limitation. Shapefile required the multiple file. When you want to work for the shapefile, it needs the multiple files, at least .ssp extension, at least .ssx or dbf or .prj. So this type of extension, if you, you need when you want to work with the shapefile. Shapefile requires the multiple files and also file size limit. The maximum file size is 200, 2 gigabyte, nearly 2 GB and individual attribute names are limited to 10 characters and no support for the advanced data type, limited attribute table support, no support for multiple geometry types in one file. So these are the uh, cons of the using the shapefile. So now let's check uh, the use of shapefile. So you are working with what GIS software. If you want to use ArcMap or QGIS software or system that records the shapefile, you can easily use it. And you need to the share simple vector data across the different platform. You can also use it, no problem. Then we talk about the GeoJSON. If the extension is the dot GeoJSON, it's best for web application, lightweight data sharing and data interoperability. And the post is that lightweight and human readable. GeoJSON is based on the JSON, which makes it simple to read, write, and debug, and ideal for web mapping. So when you want to work for the WebGIS, we have to use the different types of JavaScript library, such as Leaflet, Mapbox, and which make it excellent for the interactive web maps. So it easily support this type of GeoJSON file. Support point, line, and polygon geometry. GeoJSON is flexible and support for various geometries. And single file. So everything geometry or attribute is uh, sorted, is stored in a single file. But previous time for the shape file, it is stored the different, different file. So for that, when you want to use the shape file, we have to use the multiple files. But when you want to use the Gibson file, every file. So this is another benefit to use the Gibson. Then cons is that limited attribute handling, like shape file, uh, it lacks the robust support for the complex attribute or large data set and large file size for large data set GeoJSON can be inefficient due to its the text-based nature and limited software supported for large scale analysis. We, uh, while most GIS tools support GeoJSON, it can become slow with free, free low, large data set. Okay, but if you want, you can also use it for web-based mapping and application or need a format that is easy to exchange the between system you're working with the relatively small data set or need the cross platform easily. And first, finally, GeoPackage. So this is the most popular .gpkg extension. 
and its large data set, complex geospatial data or modern GIS project we can easily do using the GeoPackage and process the single file. Unlike shapefile or GeoPackage, it stored all data geometry, attribute and metadata in one SQL light based file and support the large data set. GeoPackage can handle the large and complex data set efficiently as well as advanced capability, support the raster data, multi geometry feature and special indexing, making it the suitable for a variety of GIS application. Compact and efficient file size are smaller than shapefile or geojson when storing the large data set and open standard, fully open and non uh, priority developed by the open geospatial consortium. And it also some cons is that not universal supported. While gaining the popularity, it may not be as the universal supported as shapefile in some older or limited GIS software. More complex for basis users or simple tag geopackage uh, may be more what is needed. And uses, there's a lot of uses when you want to work for the large data set or complex data set, including multiple layers or types of geospatial data, or your requirement advanced GIS capabilities like special indexing or raster data handling or efficient storage. You want to an open modern format that is designed for both special and non-special data. So now who is um, who is to choose? Suppose when you want to go to the shapefile geosion and geopackage, shapefile use it if you need the maximum compatibility with older system or need to extend the simple vector uh, data widely, or geosion based for web-based application for lightweight data extent and geopackage, the modern efficient choice for complex data set advanced geospatial project. When you want to everything in one file, then you can easily use the geo process, geo package. Okay, so this is the overall uh, summary for that shape file, geo and geo package, and which format to use for which project. I hope you can easily get the idea. Okay, so if you have any question or any doubt, you can simply contact, or uh, if you want, you can also comment in the video description. And if you can get this type of uh, document, you can simply visit in my um, Google, visit my uh, LinkedIn page, as well as you can also visit the Telegram group or to WhatsApp group. From here, you can easily get this type of document for the read. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy. Stay safe.